Damn, Danielle. Who you a fool? Back at it again uh, with another video. Oh, Lord, Jesse made another one. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So I'm going to be doing a video on how I apply my press-ons, like the whole rundown on it. Basically, pretty much, you know, all you have to do is file your nails. I don't use a filer when I file my nails. I use this drill. I got my drill from Amazon. And of course, everything used in this video will be linked down below in the description area. So after I file my nails, I go ahead and I clip them because I like my nails extremely short when I do my press-ons. It's just a preference for me honestly to have my nails this short um these nails they are like long oval shape and again i got these from amazon and what i i'm doing right now is i'm sizing up my nails so i can already know which nail goes on which finger before i go ahead and glue them on is this is a the best process ever because you won't you know spend time trying to figure it out after you already got the glue on so these stickers i got them from amazon as well and these are the stickers that i chose for my nails since they're already like pre-designed to be the oval shape the white ones those are the ones that i'm pretty much going for so when i do my nails i put the glue on my my nails at first and then i press the nail the false nail down until you see no bubbles and then i usually hold it for about 10 to 15 seconds honestly that's just you know for me how i get it to stay on long and then I'm going to use the Beatles top and base coats for my nails. Of course, the base coat is going to go on first. And you're going to apply the base coat to each finger. And then you're going to put it under the light for 90 seconds. That's pretty much um, what they tell you to do. If you go to the nail salon, you know, that's what they do. They put the base coat down first. And then you're going to put your nails under the light for about 90 seconds. So this is just me applying the coat to every single last nail. I didn't really need to show this part, but <laughs> you know, I'm trying to make the video be at least a little bit longer. So after I apply the coat, one coat of this to each nail, then I put it my hand up under the light and I press it for 90 seconds. And then I want to use this coat, this color right here. Um, of course, this is in the Beatles. This one did not come in a kit. This one was sold separately. So again, I'm going to link this one down below. And I do two coats of this. So I do one coat and then I put my hand under the dryer and then I do another coat just to make it look more like the color look more vibrant. Because you, as you can see, one coat still just doesn't look good enough. It just looks light. And sometimes people like one coat, but for me, to get the look that I was going for, I needed to do two coats. So I did the first coat. I put it under the light for 90 seconds. All my applicants are going to be 90 seconds. And then this is me doing the second coat. And you can just already tell the difference as is and why I'm putting on the second coat how thick the color look on the nail and this just looks really good like it looks like I went to the nail salon to get this done like if I really wanted to I could have just wore this color and nothing else like it looks really really good like really nude like so now I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to take the nails off of this um little Thing that comes on I don't know the name of it and I use tweezers to take them off and tweezers to also apply the nails and then I just use my finger to smooth it down to basically make sure that it's sticking and you want to do this right because uh, I'm not even gonna lie to y'all off camera I had to take them off and reapply them because it was like they were balling up and I was getting like some air bubbles in it so you have to make sure like you have like a really steady hand when you apply these little nail stickers because baby you don't want your nails looking crazy I know I don't so i apply each um sticker to the finger doing one finger in one hand at a time and then once i do that then i'm going to go in with the beetle's top coat and then of course i'm going to put the top coat on each nail and then i'm going to put it under the light you know the same thing for 90 seconds with this one at first i put that one little sticker on it and then i was like i wanted to do more so i went ahead off camera and put more stickers on there on that on my pinky to basically make it look like you know more decorative right there you could just tell the one but i added more afterwards so now like i've mentioned gonna take this um beetle's top coat gonna apply it to each nail and then we're gonna put it under the um dryer for 90 seconds
and once you take it out that looks so good oh my god so of course off camera i went ahead and i did my um other hand because you know it's just it's the same thing you know i didn't want to waste time filming the second hand and but look how just good they look together like you would have thought i went to the nail salon and somebody freezed out on my hand and they just look really good so now i'm just taking my oil and i'm just oiling my cuticles um because you know don't want no dry cuticles on the hand and whatever and then i just rub it in with my fingers uh, once I'm done adding the oil and y'all that's it that's basically how you do the press-ons to make them look like you've been to the nail salon without paying nail salon prices like these look amazing and I'm really getting into the oval shape and once I start like really really doing designs and getting more stickers baby you're not gonna tell me nothing like I am a press on girly I don't have to go to the nail salon. I don't have to sit there. I can do this from the comfort of my own home and save so much money because y'all know the price is going up to get the nails done. But yes, guys, thank you so much for watching this video. Don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe.